What's up, Soul Squad? Somebody shut my baby door. Shout to the barbershop. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Uh, you knew I was looking for him, huh? <laughs> I get up, people missing in action. I don't know where nobody at. Good morning, Soul Squad. Man, I don't know where my glasses at, y'all. So I can't even say good morning to y'all. Mm. I found them. Good morning, Soul Squad. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Kayla, level one. Glass is still blurry. Hey, Miss Bird. Hey, Miss Tony. Hey, Renee D. Renee, I ain't seen your name in a long time unless you've been in the back. Hey, Faith. I slept good. I had a good night last night. I went to bed early. Hey, Miss Wanda. Hey, Miss Christy. Hey, Bridget. Good morning. Hey, sophisticated lady. Good morning. Hey, Faith. Hey, Miss Avery. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Wherever you are, tune in to Thursday morning check in. How was my night? How was you guys' night? How was y'all guys' night? How was you guys' night? That was not no proper English. Somehow, some way up in there, that was just so wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to wipe these glasses off. Was not, it's still kind of blue. I don't know what's up. It was not any type of proper English. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Truck in, trying to get it together. Oh, it's good, though. Because, you know, we're going to say, hey, Michelle. How you doing, Bowers? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. We got 11 thumbs up, 29 people. Come on, people. Hey, Miss Scott, Shadika Scott, good morning, honey. So, I'm going to have a couple of announcements to make, guys. So, let's get this thing started because this is Thursday morning. What? Check in. Okay. So, 17 thumbs up, 30 people. The people going up, the thumbs up. What's up, West Coast Cali? Hey, Jill. Good morning, Jill. Good morning, family. Good morning, Soul Squad. Uh, you know what we're going to do because we do it every day because we got to do it because you know what? He is the greatest. And I know if you're here, he got purpose and you got purpose. Live up to it. Okay? I'd like to thank God for waking us up, spending another day with our family and friends because that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I slept well last night. I felt very energetic to the point is that um, I, I might have an extra video for you guys come today. It depends on how long it takes us to um, film it. I got a dress from TikTok that I really like. And um, so it's going to be a short. Oh, uh, thank you, Faith. Tell him I said thank you. You know, we love it when the kids cook. We love when the kids cook, man. Or even they're not cooking, they're going to look at us and say, Mom, can you cook that? Because Andrew still, Andrew is always pulling something off of Instagram. My mom, can you make this? Mom, can you make that? I said, boy. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so I love it. Hey, Tennessee North, hey. Hey, Tennessee North family, everybody getting woke. They getting ready for work. So, um, I just found out yesterday I'm cooking this. Um, now, you say a short or a short dress. It's going to be a short with a long dress. <laughs> <laughs> it's
It's a dress that I've been wearing for TikTok for a long time. And every time I try to get it, it was always out of stock. And a couple of weeks, uh, like a week ago, I finally grabbed it. Then it came last, and it came last week. Check the door all the way. It came last week, but I take such a long time to get things done. It's been sitting right here for a minute. And so I said, I got to do this video on this dress. Hey, Michelle. Um, so it's going to go up on TikTok and it's going to go up on my short. So you guys will get this little dress video today on a short. Just let me know how you guys like it, what you think about it and stuff. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then um, I was trying to figure something out because um, me and my friend, my girlfriend, uh, we working on our summer itinerary, my summer itinerary. I'm trying to get things together. Um, so we're working on things that I possibly going to make happen this summer. And one of the first things, you know, is our trip in June, our trip in June. And then I just found out last night from my son. I skipped all the places. I said, I said, I'm making this beautiful Easter dinner, which I don't always do Easter dinner. And everybody's going to be at work. I had a couple of sons that supposed to be off on Sunday. But now they're working on Sunday. So ain't nobody even me and, me and Jackson. But then Tia just told me that she's coming. So, oh! I've been trying to call you and you hung up on me. You look nice. You look different. Oh, foo -foo, no hair. You look so different. Shut the door, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My son just came in here. I got up and I was wondering, like, where's my fufu? Where's he at? He's not getting ready for work. He's not washing clothes. I'm like, where he at? And then he just walked through the door to my see my hair. He been at the barber shop. He got all his hair. His fufu hair was like this. He had like an afro and then all his beard. So, um, um, hey T Y. And so he, um, you sure can? Cause ain't nobody gonna be here but me and Jackson T. You sure can. And I got um some braised beef ribs, a whole chicken. I'm making some yams, some cabbage, some macaroni and cheese, and cornbread, sweet potato cornbread. So you sure can. Um, ain't nobody gonna be with me and Tia. So I told everybody that I will make their plate because they don't get home till like one o'clock in the one twelve thirty at night from work. I said, I'm making this beautiful Easter dinner and y'all will be warming it up in the microwave. <laughs> But I told everybody, I said, I just make everybody play. Okay, when we get off here, call me. Because um, you know what I really wanted? I wanted some butter rolls, some homemade rolls. And, oh, yes. So, yeah, you. I'm going to call you when we get finished. You show I welcome. You ain't been to the place. All I got to tell you is bring a chill with you. <laughs> I would tell you that. Bring a chair with bring 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 your um bring your chicks. I told T the same thing. Bring a chair. Oh, we most definitely could do that. I haven't had any company, yeah. Um, yeah, so another thing I was thinking about too is that um I gotta talk to um I gotta talk to DC about the um I got to talk to DC about the um, the Discord situation. And it may not be this week because tomorrow's Friday already. What's up, Bill? Tomorrow's Friday already. So hopefully it'll be one day next week. It only have to be on a Friday, but I'm looking for a Friday because she's an amazing DJ. So, yeah. And second thing is that um, we're getting my itinerary, itinerary together because y'all know my birthday is September. And I'm going to Florida for my birthday. Um, I don't know what part yet, but um, things are being put together with me and my girl trying to put it together. So y'all, y'all vlogs, we, I'm most definitely going to Florida. Um, I'm taking a trip to Florida for my birthday. I'm getting a, um, we're going to get an Airbnb. It's going to be about six or seven of us. And so cause everybody want to know what I want to do for my birthday. I said, I want to, I want to do some stuff. In the last couple of years, I haven't vacated. I never did anything. You know what I'm saying? It's time to do things. So if you haven't took yourself on vacation, a staycation, anything just to let your head down, put your feet up to get some stress off you, it's time to make your plans now. Hey, living life in Florida, it's time to do, you know, what you got to do. So, um... 
I was telling my girl Safari, she's a, she's a um YouTube, she's a um sub um a Soul Squad member, you know, me and her click like this, so we like we like this. The Cookie Lady, y'all know my Cookie Lady, and so her birthday is in August, mine's in September. Um, so I was saying I wanted to go to Florida. She was like, "Well, I might as well just go to Florida with you, and we can make a thing out of it." So we're trying to get our, our um our itinerary together for Florida, where we going and stuff. Because I talked to my girl, my full figure life. You guys know her on YouTube, but I know her as Ashley. We're trying to do a girls trip, and I'm get I'm, the plan is to get her to cater the Sunday brunch and the Friday night dinner. So um. We we're making everything is up in the air, but um we trying to get all that done. I'm so excited about um all this stuff. And then um all my old videos gonna be trending because they popping up on YouTube. Thank you, Miss Bird. That's that's what I'm talking about. Um so and I'm also trying to get something for you guys in August. I'm trying to get something for you guys situated for August, so um, before I could make an announcement in June, um, I supposed to be, um, we supposed to be talking about that too today. I'm trying to get something situated for you guys in August, where that it's gonna be, it's not gonna be outside, it's gonna be indoors. And the way I want to set it up is that I want to do is I want to make it a pop up restaurant, where that I um. Uh, it's going to be a meet and greet, but it's going to be. Thank you, West Coast. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to do what we say that all of us is unstoppable, that we need to do things different. We need to take care of ourselves and enjoy life because we only get one. And these days and times and weeks and years are passing us by. And, you know, it's like, wow. You know, so um, as I was talking to my cousin last night that. We we're talking about, you know, all the people that we lost. And she was like, it's going to be two years. I said, no, baby, it's about to be three years. I said, I know when my mom passed. I said, 21. I said, it's about to be three years. She said, no, cousin. I said, yes. I said, three years. She said, what happened to the time? I said, don't it feel like yesterday? She said, it felt like we just lost everybody yesterday. I said, I told you. I said, it feel like yesterday. I said, it's like we're blinking and, and time is just going past and we're just, and you're at, if you're at a standstill, it's time to unlock yourself because time waits for no one. And much as we want it to, it doesn't. And so I was like, yes, I said, it's about to be three years since my mom been gone. I said, I, tell, I said, trust, I keep up with, I keep up with it. And I say every day, it don't feel like years to me. It feel like it was just yesterday. And I don't know how long that will feel like that. I guess forever. I said, but when, when you take your mind and you think about it, you put the years on it, you be like, so what you do? You ain't take the fish out? So you eat hot pockets first? Who's that? Back on the okay, so you eating hot pockets and fried fish? Yeah. Okay. This appetizer, but that's an appetizer. <laughs> that's you so greedy, so you thought that's an appetizer. I mean, I mean, okay. You know, I'm just saying, like, I don't know what about fish hot pockets and like, I don't know about that, but I grab a piece in the front. So like, okay, okay, okay. But, some hot pockets for you. I get some more. I'm about to start screaming and crying. Everybody like, "Who well, ate my hot pockets?" You gonna try to leave me? How many hot pockets you got there? Huh? You got one? I got two. You got two? Oh, okay. I don't know about You got those out the freezer? Yes. Those was two I seen in the back. They were like in the back of two I seen in the back of the freezer. <laughs> he gonna get you. He ate foo foo hot pockets. He gonna get you. Okay. I got one from the front and one from the back. Okay. I don't know about hot pockets. Okay, that means you can't be as long as you took the fish out, right? Five pieces. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jason interrupt me. I sometimes he forget out this so alive and just stop talking to me. But yeah, and I was like, um I you know, it's just like when you sit and think about the time, it's just like 
time is going by. So I'm just like, you got, we got, we got to live our life, man. We got to live our life because we just, we just don't know. And so I was thinking about, you know, my trip in June, my birthday in September. I was just invited yesterday to a 4th of July um, barbecue. My girlfriend, she already, she put her menu out and her invitations out already for the 4th of July. And But she personally called me and asked me, did I want to come? So I just got invited to a 4th of July. So my summit is like winding up, so, um, safari. And so I was like, you know, June, 4th of July, August, a meet and greet, September, my birthday, and I'm like, hey, and then October, Jackson's birthday, whatever he want to do or go somewhere. So I was like, okay, wait a minute, we may got, and in between, it's just relaxation, um, chilling on a, on a patio, uh, maybe, um, yeah, I'm going to country style. We already got our car in hotel rented. We got our car booked and we got our rooms booked. We got our car book and we got our rooms book. So almost them. Yes, I'm going to country tie life in Florida. <laughs> yes. So um that's our first trip. So I was thinking, I wanted to throw this page, you guys trying to put it together. If um if I could get it together by time May, uh, would you guys be down like for? Yes. If you guys be down for like a um a pop-up meet and greet where that um you don't have to pay any tickets but what i do is that i'll be selling plates of food you know i'll well the, the location that i'm thinking about giving it at at this hotel that i gave my gave my brunch at last time i'm gonna see if they got a space together a spot together um and I'm going to for both the rooms and see how much, because, you know, it's been two years since we gave that. And back then, I'm see how much it costs. But um, I was thinking about doing that. And that way, you guys don't have to pay to come to the meet and greet. But what you would pay for is your own hotel room, your own transportation getting here. And what I would do is that um, we would sell food. I want to make it a vendor. I want to make it something different, a vendor meet and greet. So something like my girl who sell cookies, I'll have my popcorn girl cookie there. She could have her vendor set up with her popcorns, her cookies. and Girl, y'all know her cookies and popcorns be the bomb. And then I was thinking about opening it up to, and then, then my whole vendor station would be the selling of whatever I decide to cook, uh, the foods and everything. And then I was like, maybe had like two, I want to have maybe like four vendors. So it'd be like a meet and greet thing, but it'd be like vendors there. And you guys um could come and you buy, you know, you, you buy your place of food, anything else you want, wait more for the other vendors. And then um, we also be doing a meet and greet and have like music, music, folk music, have a DJ. I'm an ex DC. I was going to add DC. Um, how much she charged the DJ. So you guys, if you, if you like DC Kool-Aid and Lisa, you know, probably get them there. And so um, we going to talk about all this today. So I was wondering, do you guys think that's a good idea? It's like a vendor meet and greet and have at least um, four vendors, myself and three other different vendors included. And XD, XDC, um, you know, um, can she do the um, DJ and how much she charges a DJ? And um, we're going to get it all together because I kind of like the idea. That way you don't have to pay for tickets. But um, in August, in August, and then it, we don't have to be outside in the heat. It could be an inside event. Um, and I was thinking in August. I was thinking in August. The last one was in August. I was thinking in August. That because August is so it's a, it gave me more time to get it together. It'll give me more time to get it together. So um we actually we're gonna start we, our first meeting is today. Hey Allen Girl Next Door, our first meeting is today, trying to get this, trying to get this, um, trying to get everything together on on the all the summer plans. And I told her, well, let's so I told her, let's talk about the meet and greet, because everybody wanna meet and greet. What style or what type of functional meet and greet less expensive that we wanna give? Um 
And so I think I threw that out there. So she, I was like, a vendor meet and greet would be awesome. So, hey, such a pretty, wait a minute. That's such a pretty lady. Hey, such a pretty lady. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm doing fine, Miss Middleton. I'm, I'll keep you guys posted, but it seems like we're going to have a busy and awesome summer. And for everyone who can't be there, I'm most definitely going to take you guys on this journey with me because I am a blogger. I believe in blogging. I believe in, you know, sharing my experiences with you guys, you know, because this is going to be a whole new experience for me. What's that? My sheets. Oh, uh, that came today too. Yeah. So that was your, because you went to the box. Oh, cause I got I got somebody to go. Oh, wait a minute. I got the glasses. Turn the light off. I can see the glasses real quick. I know. You look kind of handsome. <laughs> Let me find out. You got a date or something? <laughs> I'm just saying. You changing looks and all that other stuff. Looking all good. Yeah, I got a son available over here. I'm like, oh, I've been putting my sons on auction. <laughs> At the meet and greet, they put them on auction. <laughs> no, Miss Brooke, we don't, Miss Brooke Martin. They gonna put them on auction. I what? I used to look at. I see a TV show when they auction off the men for a date, like for lunch. You can auction off a date because <laughs> this old chocolate butt looking good. I'm my baby. <laughs> And I'm saying one thing about my boys. They just like their mama. We could be a little rough around the edges, but when we clean up, baby, we clean up. Be like, damn. <laughs> and this one's single, too. Ain't got no babies. He's single. Got a good job. A good head on his shoulder. Mm-hmm. And he's very handsome. I'm just like, I be telling him all the time. He said, I'm a dating man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I ain't ready for no kids or nothing like that. He said, I'm just date. I said, I know that's right. That's my fufu. That's when y'all see him. That's when y'all see in the background every now and then. He don't show himself on YouTube that much. He used to be my YouTube man, do all my YouTube stuff and my background work and all that stuff. He don't do it no more. Thank you, Miss Bird. Um... Yeah, so yeah. Ah, I know that's why. <laughs> Over the bed, I bet five thousand with a date with Fufu. Ah, that man, that man, that man, that man <laughs> He's the only one that's really available. Jackson too young. Joshua got some. He's the only one really available. Fufu and uh, oh, Fufu and Brandon. Yeah, Brandon used to be the one that filmed me. Um, Angela, Brandon used to be the one that filmed me. Oh shit, man! I got one for the girls and I got one for the fellas. Let me find out I'm multitasking out here. <laughs> My son's gonna get me, but hey, I sure do. <laughs> And, 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 they, and, they, and they ain't no bad looking people either. <laughs> y'all know y'all been checking out Brandon Instagram. I look, I cook everybody up. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Gummer, he out there. He trying, he trying to make some money for his stepson. <laughs> oh, y'all, I just woke up good. I had a, I, I slept well last night. I went to bed early and, um, you know, I don't know. I have to ask him that. But you know what? I have to ask him that. That part I can't answer. Look, he's, uh, Mr. Garner said, we got to get paid. <laughs> Girl, Angela, Angela um, with a lot of patience. That's all I could say. Because trust me, I had fights and arguments I, with a lot of patience. But for the foremost, you know, we did everything together. You know, they were into football. Um, we did. We took family trips, you know, to family houses. They very seldom did anything by themselves. So when I was working at night in the summertime, my mom would have them. 
And you know, my mom, oh, my mom has, my mom watched all my children. Michael is the only one of my sons when he was two and three that went to daycare that, um, yes, it did. Uh, it went to daycare and, um, for like for a hot second, less than six months. Um, so at the end of the day, my mom, my mom helped me raise my boys. Told she must make a dating show. <laughs> my mom, my mom really was a big, even though we had our issues and our ups and downs and the things that she was going through, but I was always um her and my sister because Tia was there for me too. It was a time before Tia didn't have kids. And my kids was Tia kids. And um, so my mom and my sister really they they played a big role. And raising my sons with me. Because especially when I was working. And Tia was working. And I was working. So yeah. I have two boys. 17 and 20. And they're good boys. But, but they try me. Well I never had nobody to try me. I thank God for that. Um, because my other sons. To get on my other sons. If one of my sons say something. say, Don't be talking to my mother like that. So yeah. I never had nobody to try me. So I think if one of them try me, I'd probably bust them in their face. I don't need nobody else. Because what you ain't going to do, if I was your sole provider, the one that took care of your whole life, ain't no daddy's really been there that did nothing, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. But, um, yeah, you can't don't never bite the hand that feeds you and that was there for you. I always, but by the time my fourth boy, I was like, I gave it up. That's why I love up on my granddaughters. That's why I love up on my granddaughters. I love up on my granddaughters. I didn't get any. And you know what? That man upstairs, he knows what's best for you. Yeah, you remember that? Years ago, I remember that. I remember that, Mr. Montgomery. Um, but he knew what's best for me. I used to always question that. God, why you ain't giving me no girls? But he knew what I could have. You know, he know you more than you know yourself. See, I want some hamburgers, great with some God mashed potatoes. So he know you more than you know yourself. So, hey, he gave me what he thought I needed in my life. Because at the end of the day, I wasn't getting no right men in my life. So he gave me some right sons. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And I used to question it all the time. But after my fourth baby, I was like, nope. Oh, yeah, they are, Veronica. They really are. Lifesavers. And you know, girls are too, too now. My sons are good, but sarcastic. Uh, yeah. So, T, when did you start cooking? When I was 10, get my book. It's in my book. She just mean it. They she know everything. She's in the Navy. You know they think they know everything. They don't think that we lived the life before them. Sometimes our children only see us as mom and dad. But mom and dad had a life before me, before you. I used to be a kid. A, a teenager and a young adult, all these stages of life that you went through, I did it first. And don't and ain't nothing changed. Just a teeny bit changed, but I'm telling you, everything comes back around in full force. So what you doing and what you did is no surprise to me. Been there, done that, you can't tell me nothing. But they don't like to listen. They think they're new. They think they're they they did they, they're inventing something and all that. Yeah, daughter can be challenging. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Miss Bird. Yeah, so they 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 don't know. They, they think they're doing something new. You ain't done nothing that women have men and women ain't been doing for generations. It just look new because it's your first time doing it. I, it's not my first time doing it or seeing it. So what you doing ain't new to me. I done seen it done and been there and done it all. Mm. So they, but they don't get it. They're, you know the time when they get it? When it's time for them to build their own family. 
Yeah, social media has, they let them think they They won't get it until it's time for them to build their own family. And trust me, one or some of you or more of your kids are going to say, Mom, Dad, I know exactly what you was talking about when I was growing. Trust me, you're going to get that I know what you was talking about conversation from your child when they start getting their own, when they start getting into um, making their own families and, and going through those trials and tribulations with their kids and, and the kids taking their daughter thing. Honey, you going to get that conversation from your son or daughter telling mom or dad, yeah, I understand now. Yeah. Yeah. So you most definitely will understand, you will understand that. So, yeah, we're going to get that. Shut the door, please. All the way. All the way, Jackson. You don't know. Shut the door. Thank you. And because I have a daughter myself, and she's very strong headed but my best friend. But you know what? We need them to be strong headed because that way they'll protect themselves. You know, there, there's, there's always a time in the life we need them because, you know, that makes you feel good that they're able to stand out on their own, able to protect themselves, and able to take down anybody that come their way. So we want them to be strong headed. We want, you know, but at times we don't want them to be doing it towards us. But it's good to know that her personality is that way because it gives you just a, a little bit less Less to worry about because you know that oh she's capable you know what i'm saying so yeah it's it's a good attribute to have because it's nothing like knowing and feeling good that you knowing that your that your daughter or your child is is going to be good because of their personality you know what i'm saying so it that 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 is such a good attribute we just we just gotta know how to break them down when they try and be strong headed with us you know, that old saying, I brought you in this world, but I'll take you out. <laughs> we really don't want to do that because I don't got time for jail. But <laughs> that's just saying that, you know how they say that. I had one child, a daughter. Yes, that, and that's what I'm talking about, WCC. I had one daughter, and it's definitely a challenge at the time. I am glad that she... Don't let anyone run over her. That's right. Yeah, self-esteem and, and get a and yes and a go-getter. But the mom, you gotta respect. You gotta throw that up in there. You do. Yes. Hey, um, girl. What do you want? Yes. That's why right. Larry knows she's not gonna play with you though. You could you say that for the people in the streets. That's why I just tell my sons when they argue with each other and y'all argue like y'all not. I, I be like, y'all say that for the people in the street. You bring a different type of tension and argument in the home, but you have a different type of the people out in the street. They get two different types of you. You know what I'm saying? I understand that people argue. I understand the sisters and brothers and stuff argues, but it's a difference. I want I want to present a different type of argument in our home versus the type of argument that you have with a stranger on the street. Yes, West Coast Cali says she have a question. What's your question, West Coast Cali? I wait. What's the... yeah? They know how far. You know they know how far to push us. You know, and they, they, you know our kids respect us. They just know they, they 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 try. You know, they will try. You know, being condescending cond condescending and and trying to be slick and say sticks about their mouth like mumble. You better mumble because it, it, you better mumble it. It is really bad. Something you want to say. It better be it better be mumble so low that I thought I heard, but I didn't hear. But I thought I heard, but I didn't hear. Yeah, that's how low that mumble better be, and and, and it better be a side eye because I'm a smacker. So I don't smack a body. <laughs> That's my problem. I never beat my sons. I never. I never. I took things. I have taken things from them and um, punished them, but I can't remember a time when they ever got in a beating. Me and Tia fuss all the time growing up. We used to fight too. Tia was my bully. Love my sister, Deb. My sister... Oh, yeah, she was. We used to argue, fight all the time. I must get mad. Mad, mad at us. She's such a Scorpio through and through. Oh, wow. 
Sometimes the peer pressure and social media influences are the problem. Well, it depends on who they're looking at. Because there's a lot of positive social social um social influencers out here. There are a lot of positive ones. You know what I'm saying? So just like everything in life, they have to choose, you know, what they're gonna do, who they're gonna watch. Social media is just like television. You know, you still gotta, even though they at, at a certain age, you still gotta maintain how much social media they get in their life. You know, how much phone time. Like my cousin, she her daughter phone get taken from her a certain amount of time a day. She's only allowed on social media her phone for a certain amount of hours and then she covers what she watch. You know, who you watch Watching what you're looking at and all that so that's why they got these kid youtube channels from started at 13 and stuff so it's just like any other thing you have to guide your children through everything that's through social media through television and through life you know what i'm saying so i'm a social media influencer and i like to think sometimes that i could be very positive and stuff so everybody it depends on who they watching what type of channel they watching and then at the end of the day but when they get to a certain age you know we we can't control their television and stuff like that but we just gotta hope and think that our influence that we install in them will overcome anyone else influence that they see you know hopefully i think about what mom and dad taught me versus about what i'm watching watching for the chat i'm curious how old were you when you got your last whooping with the belt so callie want to know wcc want to know how old how old were you when you got your last whooping with a belt chat do you remember the last time you were beaten with a belt who i do i'm gonna say was I 18 or 19? I was very resentful for my mother for that because I'm timid. I don't do nothing. I don't mess with nobody. I don't do nothing. And um, I forgot what happened because that thing ended up in the hallway with me on the floor. And I ain't talking about the hallway in my our apartment, the hallway in the building. And, and she was, he beat me. But it was with a belt, and and I was down on the floor, and she was hitting me on my back. It, any which way the belt was swinging, that's the way I was getting hit with it. And I don't remember what I had done or what happened that day, but it was uncalled for. And that's, that's the only time I felt like my mother abused me for a situation that was totally uncalled for, that um, it, was, it was overkill. So that I, I I don't know if I ever forgave my mother for that day, but I learned to live with it and I got through it. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm gonna say I, because this happened, we was living in Sheridan Terrace in South in Anacostia. And I know we didn't move over there too. I was like, because I had Michael at 20. And it's before I had my baby. So I think I was either eight, I was 18 or 19 when that happened. But for the life of me, I cannot recall why that happened. I cannot, that's why I say me and my mother, we went through a lot. We've been through a lot of things, you know. But you know, ultimately a lot of stuff was forgiven and we talked about it and we shared things. They are they are a whole different breed. So I'm gonna say mine was either 18 or 19. 18 or 19. Yeah. Dad, you say that. I'm reliving that whole visual in my in my head now. Whew. I don't like that. I'm reliving that whole thing now in my head. I forgot about that. I truly forgot about that. But yeah, I remember that now. Sight not pleasant at all. My mother also said, you are never too grown to get knocked out side, upside your head. Yes. I must have threat. Yo, when I was like real little, that's what my, my, mom, my mother used to do. She, my mother used to threaten us. We was real little and I used to cry before and then she wouldn't even beat me because she said, you crying and I ain't beat you yet. You crying on the possibility that the thought that I said I was going to beat you and you crying. So um, that's okay. You ain't know. 
I totally forgot about that too till you asked that question. You know what I'm saying? We're sharing and we're talking and some things bound to bring up memories. Some things are bound to unlock stuff. But that's what we're here for. We're here to help each other. We're here to check on each other. We're here to, you know, if you're willing to share, you know, to give, pray, give prayer to people and support each other. You know, it was a memory that was locked, you know. It, I, it was really locked because I totally forgot about that day. It was a memory that was locked, so it's okay. You didn't know. I I oh, I forgot it was locked, and that that just totally unlocked it. And then now it did make me feel some type of way because that was a harsh day. I remember that, but it is you know I'm over it. But yeah, but I do. And my mom is gone there. And regardless of any memory, doesn't make me miss her any less, love her any less. You know, we, that was my mom. And, you know, us girls and our, we mothers and stuff, we go through a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes mom, moms and daughters could bump heads like dads and sons could bump heads and stuff. But um, at the end of the day, family is your family. Yes. I was too, queen. I was, I was, yes, I was too, queen. I was too. I I gave my mom no type of trouble. I had no troubles in school. Unlike my sister. <laughs> ah! Ooh, my sister was a handful. And as y'all know, y'all can tell. Hey, Taylor. Good morning, hon. So, yeah, so it's good. It's, it's nothing wrong. I'm good. But yeah, so it's all, it's just all about, you know, I want that, but my mouth, <laughs> West Coast College said I was a rebel. <laughs> good afternoon. Who said that? Who's good afternoon in us? Hey, Michelle. Oh, she said good afternoon to Taylor. Uh, y'all know, y'all know we come on 1130, Taylor, but just be rolling out the bed. Y'all know that Taylor probably was somewhere asleep. She said, y'all know what time? <laughs> she said, she'll get me to nine, what, nine o'clock, Taylor? I was up this morning. I think I woke up at, I think I got up at nine, too, and took my medicine, and it was sitting and chilling and started looking at the show. And I was telling Jackson, like, I'm going live at 1130. Um, we'll be going to eat. I said, you want some fish sandwiches? So I said, let's fry some fish. So y'all, my video, my lobster mac and cheese video will be up today. Because you know, on my food channel, I do two videos a week. All I gave you five. You know, before 9 30 is the bro, the birds. I know that's right. You done told us already. <laughs> I already knew that. <laughs> so, um, the lobster mac and cheese video will be up today. I keep saying lobster, it's a seafood. So that video will be up today, y'all. Um, that's the next food video that will be up today. And then I'll see you guys next week. But, you know, I'm trying to be consistent. Um, I was a smart talker, and I grabbed the belt at 16, and that was the last time. Wow. My sister was some fat. That was my sister. No. No, I did not. I did not know that Taylor East. Uh, look, because I don't look at the news. I don't really look at the news that much. I'm sorry to hear that. I am sorry. I'm sorry to hear anybody. I can't stand that. I can't stand cancer. I can't stand it. And I, I can't stand it even more since it took my mom away. But it was a that was a disease that I never thought would touch us because you know I really don't have anybody who um. Uh, had it and to my got to my mom. I don't follow the news, so I didn't know that she was missing, or I don't follow the royal family. I don't follow the news because it's just all oh, just so it just it's it's so much it's it's reality of the days and times that we live in. But sometimes I don't want to live in that reality. I don't want to live in that reality all the time. And I know that's not good. We got to peep in every now and then just to see what's going on because you got to know what's going on. But some days I don't want to live in the reality of, of our life. 
of, not of my life, but the reality of the stuff that's going on in the world because sometimes it's just overwhelming and it's just too much. Other people's stress could put stress on you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and it could be a depression. So sometimes I, I don't like peeping into the world. So I peep in every now and then, or I got somebody to tell me what's going on. I'll be like, that's just why. I try to stay in my own bubble, but yet also outside my bubble. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, we don't, it's, they never know what's going to happen out here. It's, you're right, Andrew, it's just so much. It's too much. So I don't look at the news. I don't follow the royal family. I stopped looking at the news years ago. I think I told you guys. When I was working, man, I loved the news. The news helped me get up in the morning. Fox 5 was my favorite news channel. When I used to work morning shifts, that's the first thing I did was cluck my TV on, head it up loud, and walking around the house getting ready and listening to my news. Oh, I was just looking at ODS before I came on here. I was watching ODS. Y'all know the last food challenge um, YouTuber I was with? He, was, he over there got a whole live commentary going on about, man, he dropped some allegedly stuff and some receipts and photos that some guy coming out about Goody Goody, Goody, uh, what's his name? Goody QB Jr. or QB Goody Jr. And, um... Chris Brown and um who else? I mean he over there is dropping and um Stevie J over there just dropping all type of receipts and court documents and photos. Man, y'all if ODS, if, if my live over, y'all go check out ODS because he over there dropping all he got all the information. He reading court documents, court photo he's over there and he's doing a good job ever too and honey i that's why i was at i almost didn't come on here mess with y'all because <laughs> i was over there looking at it. yes and i'm like my mom like i mean they coming it's all this molestation and stuff all this stuff is dropping all this all this um all this man it's just all dropping. The stuff that's dropping is going to have your mouth hanging. I heard um, that Jay-Z may be next. I, I know, allegedly. I don't know. I mean, but when I was Cuban Gooden Jr., you had in the photo of him hugged the oh, child. I was like, oh. it, it, it's just, yes, Jessica, it's a hot mess in, in, in the music industry, and it is being broke. It is being break down. It is being broken down, honey. Everything has been, we thought it was just R. Kelly. That's why, allegedly, R. Kelly was able to do what he did for so long because he's not alone. They all, were, they, allegedly, they're all covering each other's ass. But that's why it went on for so long, allegedly. And so now all the barriers and walls are being, once they took R. Kelly down, they didn't stop. All the barriers and the walls are breaking down now. Allegedly, all these different people are being called out for all these sexual crimes against young girls and boys when trying to influence them or being a creative direction for them as to become an artist. Man, is this is 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 this all blowing up? I don't know. I if another name come out, I ain't gonna be surprised. Is this Hollywood is in the uproar, honey? This music industry, not Hollywood, because so far QB Goody is the only actor. Well, you know, they got their stuff going on, the Me Too, the Weinstein Man, all this stuff. All that stuff is just based on uh manipulation. Um um alleged um child stuff and having sex with underage kids boys girls children they've been doing this for years this is not nothing new this is it's just coming out they've been doing this in hollywood way back in the 1930s and 40s when them young girls trying to make their way in hollywood and those act those directors and producers um got them in there on them couches this stuff been going on in hollywood for years it is it is, it is it's very disappointing but this that's their lifestyle 
That's this stuff been going on for years. Just you can you can count this stuff way back into the early 40s and 30s when 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 cinematography came about, when this movie theater stuff came about, being an actor. This stuff been going on for years, man. Oh yeah, and young Miami in on it. Something about young Miami, her cousin. I mean, y'all got to go over there. And look at all when when we are over, if y'all interested, because it's not a pleasant. It's very it's very disappointing, heart aching, and like oh my wow, are you serious? Um, but if you're interested, if you're trying to follow it, and if you're interested, um, ODS just laid it out really well. You know, with the documents, and he reading court documents, so it's not nothing that he's over there making up. Uh, Yes. Yes, Bill. ODS. I'm sorry. It's ODS. Yes, West Coast. Um, so I think he leave his lives up. So you can actually go and watch it. But he's over there. I'm not into all that because it's too much research and going on. Because if I talk about it, I want to make sure that I'm saying the right thing. I don't want to accuse nobody of nothing. I don't want to mistakenly say anything wrong. Um, Nickelodeon documentary so said, poor kids. Oh, uh, see? So I um I just sit back like the rest of you guys. I don't do the reporting on that type of stuff. I sit back and I listen and just kind of go my mouth open with disbelief and just like, wow. But I let the other people who's more in, who's more in tune do the reporting of that stuff like ODS and all these gossip channels. But it's certain channels that you got to watch because you don't want to just be hearing everything. You want people to have a little bit of accuracy to they sell. You know what I'm saying? Um, that they actually really doing research and they just not putting out anything and everything that they hear. Um, I think he was doing a good job before I came over here. So that's why I, um, it is, but it's not. I think at this time, race is not, I don't, even, I don't even see this as a race card with this situation because I think it's, it's everybody in that sector, everybody in that famous Hollywood music injury sector, be it um, your, any race. I, I'm not even playing a race card with this because at the end of the day, I'm saying it wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong. No matter what color you are, I don't, I don't, I don't think they depicting on on our uh, on our black men, they knew what they were doing. They put themselves in this predicament, and they knew one day this stuff would come about. Just because you're black, okay, you're black, but what you did was don't have a color to it. All men and even women probably is doing this in Hollywood. And to me, I don't see a color. I see wrong. I see wrong. They should have been. It's unfortunate that it's coming out and it is them, but they should have, the fans, everybody, they should have been cracked down on this stuff. They should have been. But too, I'm going to say a lot too. We all blaming them. These parents played a lot in it too. Don't get it twisted. They were allegedly, these parents was giving money and stuff and everything. So that's not, that's not, that, let's not fall asleep on the fact that parents, okay? That's not false. I don't want to say the word sell, but come on. Put two and two together. Come on. The, a, a person only going to do as much as you allow them to. And the glance and the glimmer and people tired of living life a certain type of way and money thrown in front of them. Child, please. Let's not get it twisted. Let's, let's not cross out these parents. These damn parents. Yes. I don't know why they get in the past. Why all of a sudden they want to yell victim for their babies? They, yes, their babies are victims, but who helped them become them victims too as well? Let's not blame all, you know what I'm saying? It is a lot of people who could be blamed for this scenario. Everybody but them babies. Everybody but the victims. But everybody around them, everybody around the people who they gave them to, everybody who knows, it's a lot of people. That should be accountable for all this whole ring. Okay? Everybody but who it happened to. Huh. Let's not get it twisted. So, yeah. I say that. Let me say in that part. Let's talk about them too. Everybody, let's, let, let's talk about them. Yeah. Hey, Miss Jenkins. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Jenkins. Yes. 
But it's, 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 it's just an unfortunate situation. This is a hot mess. And like I said, this, this stuff should have been done. Things happen. Things come out when it's supposed to come out. It takes as long as it's supposed to say. And to, it takes the right person to get tired. And that's what it does. It takes the right person to get tired. It takes the right person to to say, "I'm done. I, I, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done." It takes the right person. Oh shit! <laughs> for the auction but he's a young handsome eligible hard working no kids head strong um good values um young black man that that is available he's dating so we will say we're gonna put him on the auction block <laughs> and then we said we're gonna put brandon on the auction block too i got one for the women and i got one for the men i ain't leaving nobody out <laughs> oh yeah, girl, you got to be crying over here. I forgot all about that. Yes. But he grown and he got options. But, um, yeah, most definitely. Hey, D, too nice. Now, Brandon, not in here. Dad said they're going to find out an auction them all. <laughs> oh, yes. But see, yeah, we playing matchmaker. That's what we doing, Taylor. That we playing matchmaker. <laughs> we playing matchmaker, man. Y'all hot mess. Why y'all always got me on these morning check-ins longer than a day gone hour? <laughs> oh man. I just love it. I love it. I'm telling y'all. That's why these morning check-ins are so needed. It just can make or break our days, man. But it's making they're positive, they're making our days. Each and every day I come on this morning check-in, I have no idea which way our conversations are going to go. And they are, and we we're just such in a good space with this, guys. I just love it. Um, excuse me, I just love, excuse me, we're such in a good space with this, and I just love it. I am so glad that I start holding myself accountable. I am so glad that my son helped me realize if you don't have any blogging content, you still have content. You got the option to go live and still bring your um Soul Squad members. You can still bring content to YouTube, to your channel. So I was so glad that my son helped me realize that, and I decided, you know, that the, the I just I decided, even though he pushed me, helped me realize it. I decided that I was gonna be um, committed, that I was gonna hold myself accountable. Thank you, Miss Kid. I love you and look for the guys. And um, and we've been on a road. And like I said, we're gonna keep rolling. We just gonna keep riding this train, y'all. It's no stopping us. We we we. I'm on the check ins. I on the couches. Our drops of blogs when they drop. Our channel is gonna prosper. We gonna we. Our channel is gonna be looking for good entertainment, good camaraderie. You know, and, and, and the chances to see each other, to talk to each other. We had so many more people join Discord. It's so unbelievable. Discord. We over there just holding straight up conversations and talking about food. And, Oh man, Tanya Brown, I know you're probably in here and uh, I don't know how I can't get you back. You're not blocked. 
I check my stuff. I don't know why. Like I think it's a YouTube thing. Like DC, she was only uh, she was only visible for that one day on sir on Saturday, and then after that, when I came live, she was gone again. She had to end up making a whole new um profile. And I know you probably don't want to do that, but y'all, Tanya on Discord, we could see her. Thank you, Teller. We could see her, and, and I'm in nursing school, and I'm studying in the libraries in the morning, and uh, we could see her. And let me tell y'all, she made some spare ribs using that grandma jockey sweet potato pie mix. I was like, what? And she put a picture of it. You know, we got a food and recipe section in Discord. I'm telling you, Discord, we just, we just share so much over there. And I was like, what? And they look so good. She said they came out so great. And I and I thought about it. I was like, well, because when I do make my dry rub for my ribs, I do put brown sugar in it. But I never thought about using Grandma Jockey's sweet potato pie mix. So, so many people are developing different things. This mix is just not for a pie. Like I said, I make the cornbread, my sweet potato cornbread with it. Like I put it in my yams. Um, I, you know, so it, it's, it's beginning for the pie and so many different things. Like, um, um, what you call told me, what is her name? Um, um, Mo Thomas, she used the pie mix in some plain sugar cookie dough and it turned her cookie dough. She said the pie, it tasted just like snickerdoodles. And I keep, I'm supposed to do a regular, she bought, she said she bought some sugar cookies and she said she bought a bag of sugar cookies and she said she put like three to four tablespoons of the pie mix in the sugar cookies. And she said when she took them to the event, they tore them up. She said it turned the sugar cookies into snickerdoodles. I said, what? So y'all, that's why I'm trying to venture out. We've been selling this pie mix all year long because it's like somebody said, pancakes and waffles. It's just not for a pie. The, the ingredients that's in it, the ginger, the nutmeg, the vanilla, the sugar, those are all ingredients that we use in baking. So if you put it on something else, yes. You can use the pie mix on your ribs. Yeah, so I was like, I am going. See, I'm making, um, I'm braising beef short ribs this week. But, and we just had, y'all know we just had spare ribs last week. I don't like cook a lot of spare ribs. So I'm probably, probably next month. When I go my grocery shopping for next month, we'll do spare ribs again. And I'm going to do them just because I want to um, mix some of that Grandma Jockey sweet potato pie mix. Because I have an all-purpose seasoning that I do. I, I mix my blend, my all-purpose seasoning of all my different seasonings. And I use, and then I add brown sugar to it. Then I stir it up and I rub my ribs with it. So this time, I'm going to take my all-purpose seasoning and I'm going to add in the sweet potato pie mix. And then spread down on my ribs and cover them up and see and see what happens. But they looked so good and she said it tasted so good. So yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, y'all. And um, don't forget, if you have a TikTok, go over there, vote, go over there and give your girl a like. My seafood macaroni and cheese video will be up today. Um, we got three more days before this contest in. And um, we got to get them likes up. We got to get them like, likes up over there. Thank you to everybody who's been participating. Thanks to everybody. Hey, SA Graphic. Thanks to everybody who's been going over there on TikTok, liking my video. Um, it's the mac, it's the seafood mac and cheese video that's part of the contest. But you can like all the videos. But that one, we got to like that one the most. Because this is the thing. If you win, it's three people that's going to win this contest. And it's one person that Kimmy going to pick personally. And the, the, the prize for the contest is that you get to win different prizes, like the a stove top cooking um, um, hot plate. Um, she was just saying different things. And then one of the most important prizes that I really want, I want the mentorship. She's going to mentor someone on how to get, how to develop your page, how to do that. You know, she got, she got products out. She got successful cookbook out. She got, um, successful, um, products out that sell over 60,000 units. So I really, cause I really want to, um, the mentorship. Cause I think that could be a way for me to, um, really get into the business and aspect on how to get my stuff out here. I have good products with my marketing and stuff is just not uh so that's why i this that's the main 
reason. I don't even want the winners contest for the prizes. I, the main prize I want, I want to win this contest for her mentorship. That's all. I don't, I don't care if it's money involved. I, I want this prize. I want this win for her mentorship. That's why I want this win. That is so important to me. I'm, I don't even know if there's money involved in this or anything. I know there's prizes involved. I don't want the prizes. I want the mentorship. That's 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 why I really want to win. Cause I told y'all about we learn every day, and I look, and I'm I'm never jealous. I'm I'm not the jealous type. I am never jealous of anyone. I love. I love to see people get ahead. And if I could take something and learn from it, I'm there. I, my ears open, my eyes open. I'm ready to write down notes. I'm there. Yes, we want to do both. Yes, we do. <laughs> she she does uh she does have a YouTube channel, but her most popular, she's more of a TikTok influencer. She got like over 3 million people over TikTok. Um, but she does have a YouTube channel. She got like 800,000 some subscribers on YouTube. But her star is TikTok. Her uh, her main page, when she do, TikTok is her main page. I know this ain't no Don Winners. I know this ain't Don Winners that we ain't seen in a long time. I know this ain't Don that's in the chat because I don't see it. Don't tell me I don't see his name either. What's up, Don? Is this Don Winners? How you been, boo? How you been? Yes. I don't see him either. Don't tell me he's another one I don't see in the chat. I'm saying because YouTube didn't mess my chat all up with me seeing people and all this other stuff. Because I knew I don't block because I don't block nobody. Now, I don't do no permanent block. The permanent block people, you got to go on your computer, go all in your system and all the other stuff. I don't do all that. Her YouTube name is Kimmy Creation. What's up, Don? Yes, I do see you. What's up? Kimmy Creation. That's her, that's her name on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Facebook, Snapchat, Kimmy Creation, and, and both is with a K. And an S at Kimmy's and Creation with a K. Okay. Yes, how you been? How you doing? Hope all is well. Welcome to a Thursday morning. Morning check-in. Yes, how are you? I'm saying you guys don't know. Um, I I I I I got to see and recognize names. You know what I'm saying? So it's names that we do miss. Like I haven't seen Miss Whitney in a long time. Um, every now and then I see Miss Um Juanita Hargrove. Um, um, I haven't seen her in the chat in a minute. And you know, Oatmeal Pie came in with us the other day. Surprise us. We have we had just and the crazy thing, maybe we need to start putting people's names out there and then psychologically they'll know. And it makes yes, it is, Taylor. Yes, it is, girl. Yes, and maybe because like we was just talking about oatmeal, and all of a sudden, the two days later or a day later, she ended up in the chat, and that was crazy. It's like we just talked about you, and she ended up in the chat. Yeah, I ain't seen T Tuck, T Tuck, but the T Tuck been here. She just been missing. Yeah, what about Tracy, baby? Yeah, yeah. T Tuck being, but um, she was she was just in here a couple of days ago, I think. So T Tuck being here, um, you know, she being here too. But she's not as missing as everybody else. We need to put a missing person reporter. <laughs> we need, but we missing some of our family. Oh, Susan Q not in this morning, but Susan Q she wasn't in this morning or yesterday. But Susan Q being here every day. She's always coming in the live. She may be late to them, but she comes. But she wasn't here yesterday, and she wasn't. And she's not here this morning. But she is on Discord. I've been talking to her on Discord, so she good. She, you know, sometimes it's hard to catch up. You know, I'm coming in at eleven thirty. Everybody's on different time zones. It could be eight o'clock or nine o'clock or seven o'clock for some folks, and they still be sleep. Thank you, Miss Morse. Thank you, I girl. I be trying. Yes, Miss Wiggins. Yes. Yes, Key finally showed up. Yep. And you know how we got Key back? We got Key back by me going over there, um, got introduced just Krista. Through just Krista and by me doing the challenges, Key was all the way over there in a whole new group. You know, her group over there. So you know how we got Key back. It's a, what's that? What's that? Your seafood map? 
will then a run for their money. Yes, it is. It's giving them a run for their money. So this is how, because y'all, I want to do a sneak peek. So if anybody else want to do a sneak peek, you can. And I thought about it yesterday because somebody asked me, so how many other people in the competition could you see what other people do? I said, I don't know how, how will I see other people who enter the competition. I know it's got to be a lot of people because she got so many. She's everywhere making this announcement. I say, but but it got to be on, um, but you, but you got to enter through TikTok. You got to have a TikTok. I said, so I finally used some of this brain up here. So I went to the search engine and TikTok because what, the way you got to enter the contest, you got to say hashtag, you got to say hashtag Kimmy's contest. Contest is with a K. So I went to the search engine and I put in hashtag Kimmy's contest and everybody who's part of Kimmy's contest who got that hashtag what up, everybody video. So I've been peeping and I've been spying. <laughs> so yes, I've been peeping. I finally used my brain, what God gave me. I used it for something. I, I figured out, because when somebody asked me the question, I said, I don't know how. And then, so I, so late last yesterday, I was like, how, well, how better to do that? I said, ooh, hashtags, because everybody in the contest that's one of the contest rules. You have to order for her to see you. You have to do hashtags, Kimmy Contest. So I went searching. I, I, now, the search engine may not found everybody. Uh, <laughs> the search engine may not found everybody because I don't believe in the search engine is getting everybody. Because so far, I only found six people. And that's included myself and five others. And I looked at their other big recipes and stuff like that. So um, I only found six people, and that's including me. But I was telling my cousin, you know, I'm not going to rely on the fact that this search engine only saying six people. I said, because it's a lot of people. We still got to the 31st. And I said, and that search engine may not pick up everybody who's using the hashtags. But one but one of the rules is that you got to have the hashtag, um, hashtag Kimmy Contest. That's, that's, that, 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 that's the way she's going to be able to pull people, too. So, um at the end of the day, I only seen six people this far, but I say that search engine could be wrong. It just ain't pulling up everybody. But so far from what I found, so anybody else got TikTok, go in your search engine and put in hashtag Kimmy Contest. We got to see what we up against. Ain't nothing wrong going peeping at other people's recipes and seeing what they made. We got to see, we got to see the competition. You know, that make you, that make you have more faith, go stronger, go harder. So yeah, and the 31st, what is the 31st? Sunday? So everybody got to 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, which is my time, to finish um, posting their content. And like I said, I went and search. So if you got a TikTok, go and search for the hashtag Kimmy Contest. Let's see what we up against. Because I might have missed somebody. I'm going to be nosy. <laughs> Look, that's the nosiness in me. Stop playing. Oh, thank you. So you got to... um. We got to go in there, y'all. We got to go. Uh, we got to go. I'm, I, I ain't going to lie. When I figured it out, yes, I went peeping. I want to see what I was up against. Because, like I said, a competition, we, like we talked about this yesterday, or the day before yesterday, life is a competition. Regardless if you're aware of it or not, you're in it. And work, relationship, family, it, 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 it may not be something that's up in your face. And not by nothing that you recognize, but trust. Just your everyday waking up, everyday going out the house, everyday living your life is just competitive. This is a competitive world. It's people are always put against each other, whether you know it or not. Whether you know it or not, unless whether or not you realize it. This, this is just the hard truth of everything, of life. Hey, Amaze Me, good afternoon. And, um, and, and we have to learn, you know, we got to learn to embrace it and live with it. And, and you know, and like you said, you always want to know what, who your competition is and what they bring in. And, and, and maybe it could be like, damn, I could have done better. Or, dang, I could have done this different. Now, I want you to live your whole life stressing out, knowing, saying the world's a competition. Live your everyday life. But there's certain things in this world that we just need to be aware of. That we just need to know. I'll tell, tell hell and say, I'm not into competing. No, nah, I'm just sitting down. <laughs> it's just some days, you know what I'm saying? Happy Thursday, D Queen, before you react. Happy Thursday. <coughs> mm. 
Got me some cold water, y'all. And everybody keeps talking about cold water not good for us, but it's the only way I could bring it. Yeah, the rat raid life is not for me. Teen soft life. Yep, yeah, I'm with you too. That I, I'm with you too on that too, Taylor. Oh, Ooh, that's good. But it ain't nothing like no cold water. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing like no cold water. They keep saying cold water not good for us. But hey, B. Adams, welcome to the live. Welcome. But guys, I'm about to get up out of here. I enjoyed our Thursday morning check in. Like I said, we never know. Hey, what's your Easter dinner? Um, I had braised beef short ribs. Um, a whole chicken. Um, I got braised beef short ribs, a whole chicken, some yam, some cabbage, some macaroni and cheese, and a sweet potato cornbread and um potato salad. And then I gotta get off here because my boo, my boo, my brother T Y said he wanna come. And you know, he said he'll bring some. So as soon as I get off this live, I'm about to call T Y and see what he's gonna bring. I don't, I don't play music. I don't have nothing to do it with unless somebody else know how to do it. I don't, I, you know, that's why um, we had someone else that was doing it. And again, y'all, we want to give a number. We want to give prayers out to our Soul Squad members. Anybody who's going through anything, anybody have any struggles or anything like that, hold your head up high, you know, have faith in God and he will help you overcome anything that you're going through. He is a trusting God. He is a forgiving God. He is an understanding God. So if you're going through anything, any Soul Squad member, any Soul Squad member family, just everybody general in the world, prayers go up to you. God will give you the strength to uplift you and your family and your situation. Pray to him. Let him know what's going on with you. And he is always there for you. Even when you think he's not, he is. Can I get an amen? Amen. And this goes out to all our Soul Squad members, especially our Soul Squad members who's going through things and who you know don't have the ability to share but who's going through something that we're missing in action please know that we're here for you that we're praying for you and that we love you and that most of all god loves you amen i love you guys so much remember east side in dc remember east side east side in dc i don't know i think i heard of that though they got Susan Q right there. Susan Q, they were just talking about you, boo. <laughs> I think Taylor just asked about you. Yes. So now this made me don't want to be because B. Adams just came in. Susan Q just came in. All our people coming in. When I'm saying, we, we doing our prayer out. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, hey, that's great. But then what did I say? Didn't I say if we talk about them, they will come? Oh, the peacemaker in the chat for DC Kool-Aid. Yes. Okay. Yes, he is. Amaze me. Yeah. Oh, East Side is DC. Oh, shoot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that is. I'm like, Eastside, East. Oh, Lord. Forgive me. All right, text me when the baby sleep. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> and, they, and they're excited about that because I told them about the DC. And you know, everybody remember when you used to do the DJing over on your channel. And that was a good old time. You, you played some good music. So yeah, most definitely text me. And I got something else to talk to you about too when it comes to DJing as well. So when you get the baby asleep, text me. I'm here because when I leave off this slide, I've got to go fry me and Jackson some fish. Um... That's our breakfast today. I'm make us some fish sandwiches with some tartar sauce, ketchup, and probably some French fries on the side. Because that's what we about to eat. That's our breakfast. I told him to take out five pieces of fish. But I'm just, but, y'all, I be doing something. I be, I, I be, I be sneaking on my sons. I'm waiting for them to go to work, though. That's why sometimes me and Jackson be eating two and three o'clock because everybody don't leave for work until 2.30. 
And you know, me and Jess be home all day by ourselves. So I be trying to wait. You know, I don't eat till after 11. But I could cook at 12. But if I cook at 12, they could be like, oh, give me some. Make me some. No, not fish sticks. I got some tilapia. Give me some. Give me some. So I be waiting till after 2 to start cooking. <laughs> So I don't cook with the Bible, me and Jackson. I be tired of cooking all the time. They be like, oh, mommy, what you making? What you in the kitchen doing? Give me some. Uh, see, so <laughs> I cook on Sundays. Everybody get that meal. And then everybody home on Monday. So I cook full day Sundays and I cook full days Monday. So Monday, everybody will get a breakfast and a dinner. And Sundays, everybody get a Sunday dinner. But all the rest through the week, it's every man for themselves. So unless I'm making like I made, unless I made, like I made that seafood macaroni and cheese, everybody got that. And that was on a weekday. But my the two days that I majorly cook for everybody in this house is on Mondays and Sundays. Because Mondays, everybody, that's, for some reason, all, they, all of them got Monday day off. So Monday, I have a house for every all of us at home. So I cook for everybody on Monday, um, and then on Sundays I cook Sunday dinner. But they be at work, but they'll have it when they get off of work. But the other days I be like, it just be me and Jackson. So I be waiting till they go to work. <laughs> no, he on the mall. No, he's not. Unfortunately, that's why I say I only got two on the market. Um, Brandon and Fufu. Everybody else is taking full. Oh, I got two on the market. And Jackson too young. So, yeah. That's it. Yes. We all, everybody, every now and then. I. <laughs> I, I got you, boo. <laughs> Oh, this is 11 now. Hey, Steve, Miss Star. What's up, boo? Good afternoon, y'all. Because I know it's after 12. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'll let you know. But you know what? They they do. They just lazy about it. I ain't going to say that they can't cook because they could cook a little something, something. Because I had them like cook. They just don't want to. They choose not to because I'm with them. So they choose not to. But they do, they know how to cook breakfast. Brandon, Brandon is a good breakfast cooker. Brandon, I mean, Brandon, when was living with me, man, we guarantee we going to get breakfast because Brandon loves breakfast food and he could cook anything when it comes to breakfast food. His dinner food is kind of slow. But Michael know how to cook. Um, Joshua now cook a little something, simple stuff, not nothing big. But they don't know how to cook nothing big, like fried chicken or pork chops or nothing like they don't know they not cook anything that's simple that process stuff like steakums and 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 they not probably not cook hamburgers and stuff but they they just waiting on me like my son who told mom you here they told me i'm here yes we gotta keep all our neighbors in our prayers you know we just gave it you know that's what we got to do. We, we, we do it together on chat. We could do it privately, but we got to. Oh, yes. I submitted my video for the contest on Tuesday. Um, Sleeping Star. So if you got a TikTok, it's up, Sleeping Star. I did a seafood mac and cheese. So if you got a TikTok, go follow me there on TikTok on the Sofa T45 and hit the like because it's based on likes, the most likes. Um, but I'm actually putting that video up today on my food channel for you guys because, um, you know, I'm supposed to do two food videos and I did one on Monday. So day Thursday, I'm about to put up a food video. It'll be up at six o'clock. Um, seafood, mac and cheese. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something. I, I can't do it this week, but the next time cause I am making a thank you, sleeping star. Um. Uh, I got some tilapia because I ordered some whiteies. I don't know if you saw in my um last food haul I did. I ordered whiteies, but they brought me a big old bag of tilapia. So that bag was sitting in here. And I think I did that food haul about two or three, two and a half or three weeks ago. I'm going to get the ingredients for it. It's coming, West Coast. Um, 
And I've been had that tilapia sitting in my freezer ever since because not that I've been refusing to cook it. I was eating it before they even said anything. That thing was so good. That seafood mac and cheese was so good. Um, so now I'm finally gonna make me and Jackson some and I get off of this live. We're gonna have some for breakfast, brunch, whatever you wanna call it. Make a bowl of tartar sauce. See what type of french fries we got in there. And I'm making us two pieces of fish a piece. And we about to have us some fish and french fries for breakfast, lunch, brunch. Whatever it is, we about to eat. Um, I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm so afraid to marry one of your sons because eventually they're going to want me to cook. And I ain't competing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you funny for that one but look i'm gonna tell y'all something what i want to do when i made that um seafood mac and cheese i didn't use no bag cheese my mom taught me how to make macaroni and cheese so of course i adapted in the way that she taught me but over the years i have evolved and started doing a little bit extra than what my mom has done but i always stick to the bag cheese so i'm just going to tell y'all a little secret all the cheeses that i used in that video for my seafood mac and cheese i shredded it all i had the gouda the mozzarella the chops the sharp cheddar and the um, what I use? I use gouda and a white cheddar. I had white cheddar, I had gouda, I had um two blocks of um chopped cheddar, and I had a block of mozzarella. And then I use, of course, still use my um Velveeta. I shredded all that cheese. And let me just say this: it was a different taste. It was a different taste than using bag cheese. I'm not doing it this Sunday because I already got my bag cheese. But in another week or three weeks from now, I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to get all my cheeses that I use. I'm going to shred it and see can I taste a different uh, with that. Because um, because they do say, because they said that um, in the bags, they put wax or something on the cheese. Can that cheese blend to taste test the mac and cheese? We still gotta talk about that, Taylor. We gotta get the stuff together, the ice packs, the um, all that stuff together in order to send you this mac and cheese, girl. We gotta get this stuff together, um, cause you need the ice packs. Um, my children gotta go get the rest of my stuff over there. Uh, yes, that bag of cheese, all the terms. So I said the next time, I was kind of not doing it this Sunday because I already got my bags of cheese and stuff to make my macaroni. But I said the next cheese that I do, the next time I make macaroni and cheese, I'm going to shred it. Yes, I'm going to shred it because I did, even in the seafood mac and cheese, I kind of taste the difference with the cheese. And I was like, I kind of like this. I said, so next time, not this Sunday, but the next fall time I make mac and cheese, I'm going to buy my Kobe Jack. Because I use, in my macaroni and cheese, I use, uh, I'm never going to stop using Velveeta so y'all can get that up. Uh, people ask my, oh, you use Velveeta? Yes. Bump what you said. That's part, that's part. They help with that creaminess. Um, so I'm going to use my Velveeta. I'm going to use my mozzarella shred, my mozzarella, um, my, um, my Kobe Jack, and my um, my um, shop shredded. And I'm going to shred all three of my cheeses, and I'm going to see. Um, no, see, this is the ones that is a girl drink. But see, the ones that I'm talking about is the, because when you get it, you want to put it in the oven. So you got to get those little, little teen aluminum foils. And then I got, I got a vacuum sealer. And so, and then you get those um, dry ice, the dry ice packs from Amazon. Tell her when I send it to you, I want to send it to you right. I want to make sure that it comes to you in good condition. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, when I make it, it's not cooked. You make it, let it cool, because you know it's still going to be hot because the cheese hit it. But once it cooled down and it's top, and then I put it in the little, in the little aluminum, the aluminum pans with the top, with the, um, with the silver top. Yeah, and then put it in the freeze, seal pack it, 
because I got a seal packer and put it in the freezer for about maybe two days because my freezer freeze good and then probably and then ship it to you when I ship it to you it goes inside the little gray envelopes the insulated gray envelopes and then stick in maybe two ice packs and then wrap it in bubble wrap then pack it in the bag so that when it gets to you it um Yes, I'll send you a little something fun. And, 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 and then it gets to you, it'll get to you in, in a fresh condition because um y'all know our girl Ashley, my full figure life, she was selling macaroni and cheese, but she stopped selling because she said people said it wasn't getting to them right. But I don't know what type of materials that she wasn't or was not using. But I did my research on materials and, and I think what I use will make it get to you. Now when it gets to you frozen, probably part partially frozen. Probably partially frozen, but still cold and that you could like put it in the oven, you know, and do it. And since mine will come, it won't have all those preservatives and all them things that will uphold it and make it last in the freezer. What I would say, the day that you get it, even not that day or the next day, I will like cook it or whatever. Because ain't nobody suing me for poison there. I'm going to let you know. I probably should make you sign something. <laughs> Cause I'm not no manufacturer, <laughs> and uh, I ain't got no preservatives and nothing. <laughs> uh huh. Use the uh all oh, the side phone. <laughs> Cause I'm telling y'all, <laughs> you make a dog. You laugh. I'm for real. <laughs> Bob that <laughs> I love you. Hey Vicky, good morning. Mm. Uh shoot, I'm just gonna pack my ass up. Latasha said, girl, we fine, we family. I know, right? <laughs> no, nah, I was just joking, but yeah, but I think it should be good. I think it should be good. So anybody want to join Discord? I can't pin it. You could grab Susie Q name. Susie Q just um pin the um put the um link there. And you know, and you know what? This is so crazy. I love Tracy. Tracy Brown is one one of the soul call members that we can't see. And she went over to Discord and um and she said, Well, I read all the rules in general and my girl. She is really about, look, if I'm going to be on this Discord, I'm going to do it right. Tracy went and read the rules. First of all, Tracy, I didn't know we had no rules to Discord. I got to go read the rules because I may be breaking some. Because I don't know. I didn't know. So we got a list of different things. And I look. I said, well, there are rules, general rules to Discord. <laughs> I said, maybe I need to re go read the rules because I might be breaking some of the rules my dad going to sell. But so far, it's been good. It really has been good. Um, we over there, I feel like we're well protected. Um, we haven't discovered or we never had encountered any type of troll situation. So, um, I think it's been really good and pleasant over there. Um, so yeah, if we ever get one, we know what to do, but hopefully we don't, we never got one, um, over there and we've been doing this course since 21. I think since 2021. That's good. Thank you, Susie Q. Cause you know, you know, that's why, I, that, and that's just why I say before we end, the way we end it, we got to give our prayers out to our soul squad members because we don't know what nobody going through and they may, they, they, they just maybe need a little pick me up. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was thinking about her. Yeah, I was thinking about her too. I've been missing her. And I remember she said she was going through something and she had checked out and I've been missing her. You know. You know, we all we all not we all not the same. We got a couple of us missing. We didn't came to the fact that we are truly family and that we we really look forward to seeing each other. You know, like I said, a lot of us probably privately has exchanged phone numbers and emails with each other. We have extended this relationship further than Discord and to um to um to Discord and to um 
our, our, our YouTube page and our content and comments. A lot of us, that's why when we lost our girl, it really hit home for us. You know, I really felt like I lost a family member and I was really heartbroken to hear about the kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, a, you know, still like, wow, that's unbelievable. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, we're an unstoppable family together. I mean, so we can lean on each other, talk to each other, pray for each other, and check in. And we're checking in. Yeah, Taylor got rid of the app. She said, I got to download the app and everything. <laughs> we're checking in. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I still can't believe Nikia is gone. Nikia Anderson, that was, that was one of my boos, y'all. Oh, um, Nikia Anderson passed away. If you guys remember her from Bingo, that was our, man, you know, man, we had our Bingo family. I, man, we had just a certain amount of people. Everybody watched Bingo, but everybody didn't play Bingo. So we had a group of people that was like advocate. Every time Bingo came on, they were in there. They were playing. They were dropping. They were playing. Because everybody watched it, but everybody didn't play. But we had a handful of people that was Bingo was their thing. And she was one of them. And, um, yeah, she most truly going to be missed in our conversations and in our lives and, and everything. You know. Yes, had great conversations on Discord. Yes, yes. So, you know, that's why I said we checking in. We're praying on each other. Yes, we praying on each other and we're checking in. And, you know, because we know life be life and things happening. And, you know, Discord is a way of communicating. She was dropping big bikes on, on, on bingo. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. But everybody was. Everybody was. But yes, she was. It was that was that was just, just an outlet. Yeah. 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 All of my knew what numbers they want to go pick. This um um DC. You know, some people had just certain numbers. People just had certain numbers that you knew what they was gonna pick, and they was grabbing their numbers quick, man. Yeah, I wish we could still play bingo in any type of form. I just can't figure out how we can. I just can't figure out how we can. They just. I mean, COVID did allow us to do a lot of things. COVID allowed us to do a lot of things. And that was, I think that was one of the biggest things. Because we it was a lot of people wasn't working. And the people that was working and was able to come in and have fun. And, and you know, we know we made money too. Let's not get it twisted. You know, uh, you know, we made money. So you know I made money. Y'all made it. Well, y'all made y'all donations. I got my donations and, you know, you know, it was like, it was a catch 22 for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it is well missed. It was, it's well missed. Everybody, everyone who was in there and even the people that wasn't playing, you know, they enjoyed the music and my karaoke, the karaoke was on point, you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah so yeah y'all know that's what i'm saying covid made me realize that i knew how to sing i didn't even know i knew how to sing vicky <laughs> covid made me realize i knew how to sing and everything <laughs> yes <laughs> oh man y'all gotta make me laugh <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. It was though, y'all. Mm, I'll tell you. Oh, I tore that water up. That water was good. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm about to get about this camp. Look, Vicky said, I so enough won me some games. <laughs> yeah, I said, Poopoo -poo came through with the TT support. And so I'm like, Poopoo! -poo! Oh, because of um, 
it, it, first of all, it messed my, I, I can't never get cash app again. <laughs> I can't never get cash app again. So that's, that's, that's all that messed my cash app thing up. Um, it was a whole lot. And then they was cutting down on it. Oh, and thank you. I'm so glad we were able to do that for you, honey. I really truly am. I really truly am. If we could do that for everybody, man. Yeah, I, girl, I know, right? But guess all right. Oh, so all the people that wasn't in the morning check-in yesterday. Y'all know what Monday um, game is, right? Name that lyric. I'm about to be singing to y'all on Monday. Well, I might not be singing all. I'm gonna try my best. But Monday, um, Monday night, um, Monday night game, family game, y'all is name the song. We're not doing name the artist. If you want to name the artist, that's on you. But name the artist ain't gonna get to me. Say, okay, you got it. I don't want to name the artist. I want to name the song because some songs that I know and I don't know the artist. So. Monday night family gang, y'all. We doing name that song. And yes, and we go, and I'm gonna pull up 25. I'm gonna find 25 songs. It could be songs from the 60s, 50s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Um, yes, I'm gonna get the lyrics right because I'm gonna write them down. <laughs> oh, yeah, so that's Monday night game. So we talked about it yesterday on yesterday morning check in. Um, until I find a way to get this family feud, because we want to implement different games. You know, we got our different movie um, genres, and then we got Password. I'm trying to do a family feud, but I think I'm going to order some family feud cards from, um, I'm going to order some family feud cards from Amazon and see it work it that way. Because I don't know if Tiana was making up her own Family Feud questions, or she had Family Feud cards. So I'm going to go and order some Family Feud cards. But this Monday, yes, we are doing Name That Song. And I'm picking out, I'm going to find 25 songs, and we doing Name That Song. So y'all, y'all get ready. I don't know what genre. I might throw some country up in there, because y'all know I'm a country girl at heart. So I might be throwing some country. I'm throwing some of everything up in there. So be ready. Be ready on Monday, y'all. And I'm coming. Yes, I am. But I'm getting up out of here. I got to go cook. My stomach is growling, especially too. I've been took my medicine. So I got to feed my medicine. But I love you, Soul Squad. I love you guys so much. And if y'all want to continue this conversation, y'all know where y'all could go. Right on Discord. Y'all have a good rest of y'all Thursday. Remember, when you walk out into this world, just think one thing to yourself. And that is what? Hashtag unstoppable. And I love you and I am out.